fast, man. It was such a wicked knockout, man. You had a lot of people actually worried about Nate Robinson's health and well-being. I know there was trash talk leading up to the fight, but you were super respectful after the fight. Have you had a chance to talk to Nate since you knocked him out cold? Um, I sent I sent him a, a brief DM, um, just you know, saying like, keep your head up, basically, uh, and then let's connect soon whenever whenever you're ready. But yeah, I, I was I was praying for him after after because I was worried he wasn't getting up. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's a sport. So after the after the victory, you have to respect your opponent. Um, and like I said, Nate Robinson's a legend. No one should be, you know, coming and hating on him. Uh, 99.9% of people have never gotten into the boxing ring. So um, let's not take that away from Nate. Yeah, that's what I feel like, too. Just to have the balls to step in there and, and put all that on the line and know you risk embarrassment, I give it all the credit in the world. I wouldn't step in there, and I think most people wouldn't have the nerve to step in there. So, I mean, I think that was that was beautifully said. Did he answer you yet, Jake? I know he's probably going through a lot. Did he hit you back yet or, or not yet? Yeah, he said, he said, let's chat soon. Um, I, I've, I think both him and I have gotten so many messages and it's been, everything's been overwhelming. Uh, you know, there's been so much going on. So I haven't even had a chance to, you know, grasp this moment or, or have a moment to myself. Um, so, you know, I'm still, I'm still in shock from the moment and it, and it's just, everything's super surreal. It seems like, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Conor McGregor is that dream fight for you. So you know, you just put the word out there Saturday night. Have you heard from Connor? Have you heard from Audi Attar or anybody else that's around Connor McGregor? Because I know a lot of people want this thing to happen between you and Connor, Jake. Yeah, my, my team is uh, is talking to his manager, but that's that's all I'll say. You know, uh, no other and no other fighter is with this big of a platform is is calling out McGregor. So, you know, my my dogs have more followers than the guy he's fighting in, in January on Instagram. So the Jake Paul versus Conor McGregor fight is, is going to happen. And uh, it's just a matter of when. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be legendary. And I'm going to win, too. Like, that's 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 what I really want people to understand is. I, and I told my friends this. I was like, guys, this is going to happen. But not only that, like, I'm going to dedicate my life to to winning that fight because i'm not just going in there just to fucking say i did it i'm right. i'm going in there to fucking fuck conor mcgregor up is it fair to say that there is interest on conor mcgregor's part i mean let's be real you have everybody in the world it seems like calling you out everyone wants to fight you he deals with the same thing you guys fighting each other it seems to make a lot of sense so is it fair to say exactly. there's actual interest jake yeah there is it's business baby I like, That's right. you know, at the end of the day, Connor's a businessman. So is his manager, Audi, and we're going to make big business happen.